What's up everybody, it's Seymour Outdoors coming at you with another video again, finally. And uh, today we're gonna be doing some squirrel hunting. I'm actually gonna be behind the camera today for the most part. And this is my girlfriend's second time squirrel hunting. We're trying to get her into hunting because every time we go hunting, she leaves crying. This time's gonna be different though. We're gonna have a good time and then she's gonna get all juiced up and jacked up about hunting. We're going down to some public land that's like a couple minutes from my house and we're gonna get some squirrels down and it's gonna be fun. was crazy. <laughs> what are your thoughts? He was a cute little bunny. What are your thoughts on the on the hunt we're about to have? I hope it's uh hope it goes better than my last hunts. Are you I'll just say that. This time? Fingers crossed I won't. And it's not because I'm sad that we're shooting the animal. It's because I hate the woods. She hates the woods. Tell them what's going on. Zip, 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 like you're zipping a zipper. That's them eating a nut. Another sound is the little pieces of the nuts falling and hitting leaves. And then another sound is when they're barking at you. Hopefully we'll get one to bark at us so I can get that on video and show you guys what that sounds like. We're gonna try to get set up somewhere. Zoom 
zoomed in all the way on 9 zoom and it was right in front of us so I couldn't I could barely see it and it was blurry but we got him and now it's Grace's turn to shoot one no no a mistake a lot of people make when they're squirrel hunting is after they shoot one and all the squirrels kind of scurry off they think they just spooked all of them off and they need to go to a different area but as there's proof right here there was just a squirrel right there that if you wait just a little bit they'll come back out been a little bit since we've seen some action. We're gonna head out and go to some private ground that my grandpa owns. We found out that um, Gray shooting a squirrel most likely will never happen. She can't see anything. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, there were moments where I thought I might lose my mind. Um, I'm talking a whole, a whole branch would just be shaking and going all over the place 15 feet in front of our faces and I'm like are you on it are you on it and you're like what I don't see nothing I don't see nothing I said, you don't see the whole branch shaking like it's about to fall off I don't see nothing I don't see nothing and that's not my fault you need to get some glasses on bro I you have, have glasses. yeah why aren't you wearing them bro oh. so anyways I'm going to be the star of the show today instead of her. Hopefully she I'm can, always the star of the show. Hopefully she can find the, the camera. squirrels in the camera. All right. All right, let's head out. We're heading out. Uh, it wasn't a complete failure. It wasn't the best day of squirrel hunting I've ever had either. Or, um, <sighs> what do I say? We got one and we're thankful for that one. We got, you know what? We got one and we're thankful for the one we got. Now we're headed to my grandparents. And honestly, I'm cool if we don't shoot that many more. I'd be cool with one or two more. Because if you've ever cleaned a squirrel before, I don't have to say anymore. You know what I'm talking about, it sucks. And squirrel hunting, let's be real here. When do you squirrel hunt, Grace? Never. No, when would somebody like me go squirrel hunting? In the morning. No. You go squirrel hunting when you want a deer hunt, but it's not deer season oh. yet. I'm just trying to get out there and do something. You know what? Let's flip the attitude around right now. Squirrel hunting's awesome. We're about to go have a blast. I'm gonna show you at home how you can gill, kill squirrels. I'm gonna show you at home how you can bag five squirrels every day. You can get the bag limit every day. Wait, go home so I can wash my hands rub my eye it's so freaking itchy my eye is itchy and they got squirrel hair in it you got squirrel hair in your eye that's legit are you having fun <laughs> you look like you're being held hostage bro <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about because this is getting cut out of the video yeah better or is it where are we going? Kearney and Paps. Kearney and Paps, <laughs> dude. We only got one. When life gives you... When life gives you rotten lemons, sometimes, instead of making lemonade, you just throw them away. You're not always going to make lemonade, folks. What? What was that? <laughs> you don't get it? <laughs> no, I get it. It was just so weird. Are you uh -huh. trying to be Gandhi when life gives you rotten lemons? Yeah, because guess what? Throw them away. 
Yeah. You don't always need to make lemonade. If you got bad lemons, you don't want to make lemonade, right? All right, so what I'm trying to say is either I'm going to try to find somebody to film some more for me to turn this into a video or we're just going to turn this video into a catch clean and cook video since we only got one i don't think it's worthy of an entire video being made for it unless we do something like a catch clean and cook did you have fun yeah you did no but we're recording tell the camera how you feel be real i did not have fun camera i don't like hunting i'm a city girl you're gonna like it someday no there you are this is a warning if you don't want to see guts or blood or the skinning of a squirrel you can fast forward past this part or click off the video or if you already know how to skin a squirrel and you don't care to see it you can skip past this segment but let's get into it if you guys have squirrel hunted before you probably know that skinning a squirrel is very difficult so I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. I like to get the guts out first. So we are going to cut a slit here, up in his rib cage, all the way down and out its tail. And I already have a hole right there from my bullet. So I'm just following that. Follow that first way down. And right here, you feel the bone. His rib cage that you have to cut through. I grab the heart and the esophagus. You can just pull on the esophagus and that'll come out. And then I just hold him upright after I've got that slip made. And I grab onto the esophagus and the heart and I pull straight down. And boom, now he has no guts. Second step, I take him by the tail like this. I'll lift up his tail. I will make a slit here. Okay, so we're through the tailbone. I like to stop when I get right there. So what I like to do after I've cut through the tail and I've got my little slit right there, is I'll put my knife back in and I'll make a slit that goes all the way down the hind legs. We've got our tailbone cut and then slits down both sides of the hind legs. Now that it's like this, it's just going to peel straight off. And I'll get my thumb right here and kind of push down under the skin until my thumb comes out the other side, just like that. And then what you can do is grab the hide and I've got a hold of it like this. My thumb is through, all the way through. And I'll grab the hide and I'll just pull that entire leg out. Just like that. Now that whole first leg is out and your squirrel should look like this but with another leg attached and then you're just going to grab it up here and pull the rest of the way down all the way up until you reach its arms i like to just pull the rest of the way if i can okay here it goes i'll push that arm socket up through the hide just like that and then just like we did the hind legs i'll push my thumb into it in between the hide and the meat until my thumb pops out on the other side just like this my thumb is between the hide and the meat and it is popped out on the other side and then all i have to do is pull until it comes out you have almost a completely skinned squirrel and this is where it's good to have a hatchet i don't have one so i'm going to if you don't have a hatchet this is kind of gruesome, but you want to go up here on the neck, slit, slit. Just make a 360 slit all the way around its neck. And 
and you're gonna reach that bone and if you don't want to dull your knife you're just gonna grab this all this hide in its head right here and its body and you're gonna twist and it comes straight off and just like that you have a clean squirrel now let's make it taste good I've kind of got a better idea of the direction I want to take this video and it actually gave me an idea for a series how to make a squirrel taste good I've never eaten a squirrel that tasted good but I've heard legends some would say fairy tales of people who have made squirrel taste good and if there's a way I'm gonna find it and after many calculations and thoughts and studying I think I might have the proper recipe to make a squirrel taste good as you see we got the Worcestershire sauce we got the mango habanero sauce from B-dubs we got the hickory liquid smoke we got the Japanese barbecue sauce pineapples you might ask why pineapples you'll find out Montreal chicken I hope this works I'm not positive if it will I know this works on deer meat this makes deer meat phenomenal we're gonna try the deer recipe on the squirrel and see how it goes let's separate the marinade ingredients from the post marinade ingredients we need all this for our marinade this is coming on at the end and this is going to be used in the marinade but not the whole time we're leaving all this in it overnight and then we're coming in the, with this for a couple hours and you'll find out why actually I'll just tell you right now why not squirrel meat is very tough it's the toughest meat you can possibly find pineapple juice and pineapples in general actually tenderize meat but you don't want it in there too long that's why I'm not putting it in the marinade right now because it'll turn your meat into literal sand so this is coming on tomorrow for a couple hours it's gonna tenderize that squirrel and then it's gonna be bursting with flavor right and I'm sorry I gotta talk kind of quiet we got a baby asleep all right first things first we got some squirrel eggs going in the bag Worcestershire sauce half cup of that bad boy Are you zooming in on that? Mm -mm. Can you see the liquid drop? Mm -hmm. Does it look cool? No. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like you're dumping stuff in. Good, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, half cup of Worcestershire. Going in the bag. You don't want to ever use too much of this. Never use too much of that. I'm using about... I'm not even filling this fourth cup all the way. That's probably way too much, actually. I forgot there's not a lot of meat in here. This recipe is actually for like way more meat. And I kind of forgot about that. But I already put the half cup of Worcestershire in there, so we're just gonna hope that that's good. The one thing I haven't perfected about this recipe is the right amounts of everything. Now, you cannot leave this out. You can't. It's not gonna make the meat too spicy. Just putting it in the marinade, no. Don't get too spicy, it adds the perfect, perfect flavor. Doo-wop, diddy boo bob into the bag. Booyah. That's about how much I put in with the Montreal chicken. With the deer marinade, I always go Montreal steak. Squirrel meat, a saying came to my brain, which made me choose Montreal chicken. And I want you guys, a moment of silence, because this is terrific, actually. Chicken, right, is chicken. Tuna is the chicken of the sea. What's a squirrel? The chicken of the tree. Feel me? That's why we're using the Montreal chicken. Going in the marinade. Do, 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 Mix it in there. Mix 
let it sit overnight. Catch you back tomorrow. So we got our marinated squirrel that's been sitting in the fridge overnight. We popped open the top on these pineapples and we're about to throw them in the blender and make a pineapple puree. And we're about to throw them in the blender and make a pineapple, what'd you call it? Puree. A pineapple puree. I don't think that's the right word. It is the word. No, yeah, I I'm think right. it's something different. No, I'm right. We're about to throw it in the blender and make a pineapple paste. Puree. Apples in the blender, and we're just gonna blend them. There you go, get in there, dude. You gotta plug in your blender first. <laughs> Look at that consistency. It's puree. Nice puree. We're just going to pour some of this into the marinade. And that is going to break down those meat fibers and make it tender. Now, back in the fridge, for this experiment, we're gonna try two hours. All right, we got our squirrel eggs that have been marinated. Squirrel eggs. Squirrel eggs. <laughs> we're gonna dry them off. What you looking at? <laughs> I feel like eating um, a little bit of hair is just part of eating squirrel. He used to make this thing called squirrelitos. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So we got those dried off. Going on with that Montreal chicken. It ain't seasoned till you're sneezing. Where'd you hear that from? TikTok. Right. Gonna throw some oil in the pan. We're gonna get a pan sear on these bad boys. All right, so when that oil starts to smoke a little bit, I'm gonna throw them boys in. You wanna hear the sizzle. If it's not sizzling, you're not doing it right. All right, we got them seared. Now we're gonna coat them with that Japanese barbecue sauce. Oven preheating to 380. And once it's done, we're gonna toss them in there for about five minutes and then they'll be done. And there you have it. Boom, the finished product. And we're... And we're about to find out if it's busting or disgusting. Come on. All right, everybody. This is the moment we've all been waiting for to find out if it's busting or disgusting. I wanted Grace to try it the, after the Squirrelito fiasco. <laughs> She's not going to. All right, let's try it. <laughs> I can't bite it. <laughs> it's good. It's still, it's still kind of tough though. We could have left the pineapple in it longer, but the flavor is good. So, so we're getting somewhere. I don't know. It's All right. I don't know if it's well, this was Seymour Outdoors, how to make a squirrel taste good. I'm gonna rate this. I gotta give it a seven out of 10 because of how tough it is. But the flavor is great. The flavor is a, a nine out of 10. Actually, it's delicious. Overall, it's a success. Thank you everybody for watching. See more outdoors. Subscribe for more.